The Great Lakes are emitting sounds undetectable by humans. Crashing waves and deep water currents create vibrations called microsiasms. Some birds have evolved to use these ultra-deep sound waves to navigate. They have some sort of Great Lakes map in their head made by sound. I talked with Mark Denny, the author of the book Long Hops, to learn more. Hi, Mark. It's nice to see you. Uh, I wanted to talk today about microsiasms and what they are. Can you tell me a little bit about what a microsiasm is? Sure. Microsiasms are uh, very low frequency sound waves. Because microsiasms are such deep sounds, they can actually travel through the Earth's crust for extremely long distances. The sounds eventually travel to the surface through cliffs or exposed rocks that act like radio towers, transmitting the sounds up into the atmosphere. It creates a unique acoustic fingerprint for that part of the world. There's not a lot of work being done on this, but we know there's, uh, there's at least three species of birds that, uh, that can pick up microsizes, can pick up infrasound. One of them is pigeons. They've been studied quite well. Pigeons can hear frequencies as low as 0.05 hertz. That's 400 times deeper than what a human can hear. You will have uh, microseism sounds in the atmosphere above the Great Lakes because of the Great Lakes. The shores there will direct to this sound in various ways, in various, various amplitudes, which should say various intensities, uh, which depends on location. And it depends upon the rock formations where you are. But for some, for some creatures such as a pigeon flying over the Great Lakes, they would know where they are um, by the, the spectrum of, of infrasound frequencies that they are hearing uh, due to the Great Lakes. Pigeons form an acoustic map in their heads based on these ultra deep sounds emanating from the shorelines and rock outcroppings of the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes are sending out acoustic beacons that guide uh, birds to and from them every year during our during their migration. They can be used for that purpose, yes, I'm sure. I'm Coulter Stewart. It would really help if you liked our video and subscribed to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.